Welcome to Hybus News. My name is Suresh Kochar. The major thermal power plant in Uttar Pradesh, first supercritical power plant, will be fully operational by December 2020, MUNPL Chief Executive Officer Asim Kumar Samanta said. The Merja Ujra Nigam Limited, Private Limited, is a 50 50 joint venture of the state owned National Thermal Power Corporation Limited and the Uttar Pradesh Rajya Vidyut Utpadan Nigam limited. The joint venture was incorporated in 2008 to set up a 1320 megawatt which is two units of 660 megawatts each. The coal based major thermal power plant at major is about 45 kilometers from the state's Prayagraj district. Unit 1 of the supercritical plant has already been commissioned with effect from April the 30th 2019. Unit 2 is ready for declaration of commercial operation. It will be made operational by next month, Mr. Samantha told the Press Trust of India. Following the commercial operation of Unit 2, the plant will be fully operational, he said. Mr. Asim Kumar Sen Gupta said that the plant is well connected by road to Prayagraj. It has its own 28 kilometer freight corridor that helps in bringing critical materials such as coal to the plant by rail. The plant is also connected to River Ganga at Bijora village through a network of over 30 kilometers pipeline to transport water for industrial purposes. The major thermal power station is the first super critical power plant of Uttar Pradesh. He added that the SCPP has about 10 percent higher efficiency when compared to the subcritical power plants. It uses 20 percent less coal as compared to the older units, generates less carbon emissions. A super critical coal plant is a coal fired power plant with modern designs. It differs from the traditional coal power plant as the water running through it works as a supercritical fluid. This reduces the amount of heat transfer to the water which is normal cases is needed for a conventional coal plant. Therefore, less coal is used to heat the same amount of water. We are also carrying out various CSR that is corporate social responsibility activities in and around the plant, he said. He said the co company has also set up the infrastructure for communities and planted trees. When I asked about the utilization of power produced by the plant, Mr. Samantha said that the electricity generated by it is supplied to several states and union territories through the grid. A major share of 82 percent is consumed within Uttar Pradesh, 5 percent goes to Rajasthan, 4.8 percent goes to Jammu and Kashmir, 3.6 percent to Punjab, 2.8 percent to Uttarakhand and the remaining to Chandigarh and Madhya Pradesh. Currently, the plant is operating at a plant load factor of 80 to 85 percent, Mr. Samantha said. In September 2020, the MUNPL signed a 942 crore loan agreement with the Bank of Maharashtra for a long-term project financing to part finance the capital expenditure and the flue gas desulfurization related to the 2 into 660 megawatt thermal power plant. When asked about the timeline fixed by the company for installing FGD technology at the plant, the CEO said it will take another one year to complete the task. FGD is a set of technologies used to remove sulfur dioxide from the exhaust flue gases of fossil fuel based power plants and from the emissions of other sulfur oxide emitting processes such as waste incineration. In addition to curbing pollution, the FGD system in a power plant produces gypsum as a byproduct that has at least 90 percent purity. Thank you for watching.